Good morning everybody, my name is Tori and today we are going to be painting some butts. Plain, simple, straight to the point. So today I'm going to be doing the TikTok butt painting. That's the only like way I could explain it. It is a trend that has been going around on TikTok for the last couple of weeks where you take a big canvas, you either paint it black or white as like the base coat, and then you paint your butt with different colored paints and then you sit on the canvas and then you end up with a beautiful painting of your own butt. A couple of days ago, I went to Joann's and I got this giant canvas. It is 36 by 36 because your girl has some long legs and I have to sit on it diagonally for me to fit in here. The canvas ended up being like 20 bucks. For the background, I decided to use black because I think it would look really good with the colors I decided to use for this. I saw a bunch of really pastel rainbow colors, so I decided to do a rainbow butt. But my plan is I'm going to paint it black and then paint my butt purple and move down so my feet would be red just so then my butt doesn't end up being red because I feel like that would be really weird and I'm just not about that. So the first step is you need to go ahead and put down your base coat. So I'm going to be using acrylic paint. I don't know if I would recommend this. I'm going to go ahead and put up over here if I recommend it after I'm done with this if I should use acrylic paint. The next part's gonna be a little bit tough to show you because uh, YouTube does not like butts. So instead, I'm going to kind of explain what's happening. So basically, I'm going to be painting a rainbow, starting with purple being on my butt, then moving down to blue, green, yellow, orange, and then red would be my feet. I just don't want red to be on my butt because then it's just gonna look like it's a bleeding butt and that is not a cute look for me. So I'm going to go ahead, tie up my shirt, and begin painting my butt. So once I got all the paint on my butt, I went ahead and sat down on the canvas. Artwork. <laughs> Bam, there's my butt. Whoa, it's a butt. When I was envisioning what the outcome of this painting would be, I did want a very hard line, like outline of my butt. So I did go ahead and fill it in.
I also kind of outlined my back of my butt a little bit more as you can see mainly because I put the paint way too high up on my back so it kind of took away the end of my butt print and I thought it looked a little bit weird so I just went ahead and filled that in with black and made a new butt for myself so once that paint was dry I did go ahead and put a top coat to make it a little glossy and you know tie the whole thing together It is the next day. I did have to split it in between two days because yesterday I had a dentist appointment. If I talk a little bit weird right now, it's because this whole side of my face really hurts. I finished it this morning and I absolutely love the outcome. I can't wait to hang it up in my room. It looks so cute. This is what the painting ended up looking like. And uh, I think I did a good job. I really like it. I think the colors are really nice. This is what I meant by I added a little bit of more of a outline to my butt because I put the paint way too high on my actual body. I did also go ahead and paint my heel orange just because I thought it would look a little bit nicer. So this took me around two days to do. I could have probably finished in one day if I just went for it. But as I mentioned before, I did have a dentist appointment. So I did have to take a little bit of a break. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hang up this bad boy. I already picked out a spot in my bathroom to hang it up in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up after I'm done with this video. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like hanged up. Hour-wise, I would say you should probably plan to have a whole day for this type of painting. Okay, so in between layers of paint, I would definitely recommend to wait about an hour. For acrylic paint, it does take 20 to 30 minutes to actually dry, but I just gave it a little bit extra just to make sure it was extra dry before I put the top coat on. You have to wash off your butt immediately, otherwise it stains your butt. Like, I still have paint all over my body. Okay, Rob, are you ready to see my butt painting? Yes. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Look behind you. It's right behind me. It's, look behind you. Yeah. Whoa! My gosh. <laughs> Did it do a good job? Do you like color palette? I really like it. so nice. I like it. I like how it's like boop boop. It's pretty good. Do you want to make one? Your butt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, what would you rate it out of ten butts? 10 butts? Out of 10 butts, what, how many butts would you give it? Tori, your butt is the only one, your butt is the only butt for me. So I'm gonna give it probably a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5, <laughs> you hear it here first. I'm just kidding, it's a 10, it's a god darn 10. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also comment down below, what do you think of my painting? Is it artistic? Is it a 10 out of 10? Do you not like it? That's okay too. If you wanna watch more of my arts and craft videos, I will go ahead and leave a playlist right here. Or if you wanna watch some of my other videos, I'll go ahead and leave a playlist right on top of me. But yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all later. Bye.